back home oh my word I don't know why I have like a bit of a headache right now it's probably this little bun on my head but anyway my day and the last few days have been really good I think because I don't know like I just really am enjoying my routine waking up at 6 15 a.m that's my standard time to wake up and then i shower and stuff i don't know why i shower so long in the morning like why am i only done at 6 40 it's like i'm getting a 20 minute shower every morning like why no matter how many times i tell myself just hurry up like what are you doing i keep on getting out of the shower at the same time every morning it's just it's just comical at this point but maybe it's needed like it's not like i'm late for work so might as well um but i've been having really calm days at work like i enjoy it so much and obviously i really can't show you guys a lot because it's so confidential i honestly don't want to like push buttons but i really try not to show too much and also to show a bit yeah uh, it's weird like i also don't know what to do yeah so i'm also very sorry i apologize if i don't show too much or if i don't show enough in your opinion but bear with me okay i also don't know what to show but enough about that i love my work i love being an intern at this place that i'm at right now it's such an experience such a good experience and i'm just happy that you know it's happening at this moment and in this chapter of my life because it's just so perfect i am so excited for my journey in life overall like everything is just so exciting like i'm anticipating so much i'm just in such a nice growth space that anything and everything i get into right now i'm taking it full on like 
all the knowledge I'm gaining from this experience right now is in my brain and it's stuck there like I'm so happy I got a work journal guys because honestly I am having the most fun like just dotting down every single thing that I feel like is important so after work I normally just like chill like sometimes I do work out like I try to work out at least three to four times a week as of now I already worked out twice this week so far so today I'm not gonna do a workout I actually want to paint since it's still a bit light outside I want to paint now like starting now I made myself an iced matcha it's in the freezer so I'm gonna take that out soon and I'm gonna have that paint a bit listen to some music just enjoy it that's what I want to do but now it's really getting dark in my art corner in any way it looks like it's gonna rain so it's not even that light outside like I feel like it's gonna get so dark right now like as soon as I'm done talking it's gonna be dark Anyway, I also just want to say that I will have a review on this little gym. I have so many opinions, I have so much to say, but I have two more pages left. Two more pages, two more pages. I want to finish it before I actually talk about it, but guys, like, how, why, just like... I'm having a good experience, it's a great book. But the things the characters are doing, I'm not for it. I'm not for it. Like, I am so... This book shocked me. It shocked me, okay? It shocked me. Like, what the heck? I'm on page 517 or 520, so three more pages, whatever. We'll see. Yeah? Thank my food is ready but anyway we can go on with the story but also we don't have to it's that kind of book where you kind of like torn it's fine if it ends but it's also not fine i feel like it's complete but i just need more like leslie wow the thing about her she's just so special also she's unique in her writing and the way she like connects every person every character in this book wow just i have nothing else to say right now but that so dark secret this is a dark secret i'm sorry one secret summer is a dark it's a very dark secret so the painting i want to do it's a big piece because it's the first time i'm painting on a big canvas the one i'm gonna use today is a different type of canvas it's just a sheet canvas paper so let me show you guys it's one of the things i got on my holiday so it's like this so a2 canvas pads this is a great way to like also de-stress and just calm down after work as well clear your mind of things and just chill because normally i would obviously work out and then shower and then i have to eat and then it's already kind of night time and that time it's like 9 p.m so i only really have an hour left because i like to be in bed by 10 it's just so difficult some days some days are better than others but for example this day i had to sacrifice my workout but i also wanted today to be a rest day so i'm gonna dedicate this time to painting so at least i have a few hours before i need to go night night and yeah let's get into it
with me being an intern right now and having that eight to five work day it's really tough for me to like make sure i get in things i really love to do when i'm at home and just having the time to do the things that bring me happiness and joy coming home at 5 30 and getting that unwinding session in takes a bit of time because if i'm not tired i just feel like i get a bit overwhelmed after work because i want to do so much and i just end up not doing much so i really like to have a good after work routine that incorporates my hobbies and just having a really calm and relaxing after work routine it's honestly so easy to just be so drained from your day and still have time to do your little passion projects or interests it's so important for me to incorporate art especially it's such an outlet and i can't see my days not including art after work whatever your schedule is like make time for the things you love doing it's so important for your mental well-being and just your life in general and i'm honestly trying to make that change in my life just to make my days feel more intentional and just for them to have purpose in my personal life as well as my work life